Hey, I'm Andy, and the Steam game I'm going to talk about this week is Isaac the Adventurer. As with all of these, the link to buy the game will be in the description below for those that are interested. Now according to the Steam page, Isaac the Adventurer is an action-filled platformer. No, I did not misspeak, there is a hyphen between plat and former in the description. That is packed with traps, puzzles, and deadly enemies. You explore the dangerous world and get rewarded with ancient treasures. If you survive, you won't be a small boy anymore, you'll become a man. They say that the key features in this game are fast-paced platforming, collecting coins and diamonds to improve your score, slowing objects in time in order to solve puzzles, short but very addictive levels that will provide a constant challenge, and destructible environments. I think the idea for the game is great. It's simple and straightforward. Get the key and go to the exit. The level design is great and every level has a different layout. The controls are simple and responsive, however those are the only good things I had experienced in my time trying the game. I have quite a few annoyances with this game. One has to do with the checkpoint system. There is a checkpoint system in the game, but there is no indication on if there is one in the level or where it would be in the level until you run past the checkpoint point. There seems to be one track of music, and it sounds like it's only four notes. I would assume the music changes for the ice levels, but having this repetitive track go on seems really bland to me. There were some animal sounds in the levels that I played, and it sounded fine at the beginning, but then it became quite annoying since it's the same noises over and over. There was only one volume settings. So it was like a master control, you couldn't change just the sound effects or just the music. Another thing I don't really like is that there are two different biomes. It doesn't feel like a variety if every level looks the same for a biome, even if the level designs are different in each level. One small nitpick I have is that on the level select screen, the preview for each level in each biome is the same image, even if you have completed the level already. Also the background to the level select is just black. I just don't get it. I personally would just have the biome theme as the background rather than no background and the same image for each level. Because of all the downsides for me, I can't really thumbs up this game. It needs more polish. The graphics are fine, as well as the controls and the layout of each level, but it just feels really repetitive due to the limited amount of variety in the assets like the biomes and things like the level select I mentioned earlier. At the time of this review, the price on Steam is $2.99. It feels slightly overpriced given what the game has. Maybe if there was a way to incorporate the Steam Workshop for more levels, or even maybe a little more polish, like having actual screenshots of the levels in the level select, then it might be worth it. But in my opinion, I would wait for a sale if you still seem to be interested in this game. Well, that's all I have to say about Isaac the Adventurer. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. If you like this and want to see more, feel free to subscribe to the channel.